Hey guys, it's Julie. Guess who gets to hang out with me this week? You do! So it is the week after the Christmas and New Year's holiday. The big kids have gone back to school. I still have the baby with me. It's right there. And um, she doesn't go back to school till the end of the week. And I decided it'd be a great time to go do some shopping. I got returns and errands and everything to do. And I thought I'd take y'all along with me. Now, I am really hoping that everybody is like me after Christmas and just cleaning everything out. I actually have a whole truckload of stuff in the back that I'm going to be donating. And I'm hoping everybody else has been doing the same. And all the thrift stores are fully stocked. So in my area, there's no like big chain thrift stores. Everything is locally owned. Most of them have like a mission and stuff like that. And most of them were closed for the holidays. So they're just opening back up. And I just want to be there when they open. Of course, they all open on different days. So we'll have to hit them up different days and hang out all week. But I don't mind that, do y'all? So that's the plan for this week is just to kind of just chill like enjoy being by myself just enjoy being with the baby everybody's back at school everybody's back at work now goals for 2021 is to stop hoarding and i don't know if y'all follow the facebook page the julie's designs and signs facebook page if y'all don't y'all should tons of fun there and lots of inspiration and apparently we all have a hoarding problem. Like, it's bad. <laughs> we all love stuff. Personally, I need to get under control. Right now at my house, it's bad. It's like, hoard here, hoard there, hoard, hoard everywhere. And the goal for me is to get through all of my backstop items, like go through all those hoards, figure out what to do with them, and then not to stop shopping, like that's not even an option. That's not even realistic. But to be very picky about what I bring in. So do not, do not let me pick up any tarnished silver. No, you don't need any more tarnished silver. So <laughs> I just am going to be super selective about what I pick up. Um, it needs to be something that I can flip quickly that I'm either going to sell or keep like not something that I'm going to pick up and get to later on like that is not happening. We are getting through everything immediately. I don't need everything. I'm not going to buy everything, but I do want to shop. So we're just going to be picky. So I'm going to go to this first thrift store. This is where I'm going to drop off all the stuff in the back. I wish they'd give you a coupon or stuff. I watch a lot of other YouTubers, and when they drop off stuff, they get coupons. I guess because we don't have, like, big chains. It's local little things. And my prices are great anyway. But, yeah. So we're going to do that. I'm going to try to film as much as possible. <laughs> She'll probably, like, throw some stuff around. Who knows? It'll be interesting. I was pretty disappointed when I walked in. All their Christmas stuff had been taken down but they hadn't replaced it with anything yet i thought this little flower piece was really cute for spring the bottom's outdated but you could just throw it in a basket and instantly update the whole look of this piece and it was only two dollars that wasn't a bad price lots of tchotchkes and things like this this stuff looks really good with the uh, textured paint mixture. I've been on the hunt for one of these, but it's not really exactly the right style that I want or the right price. So I passed on that. But those look really cute in the textured paint finish. I thought this little marble chicken was adorable. It's from Hobby Lobby, but I thought it was really cute. These little glass, uh, faces are really great you could put um, floral in there you could put rolling pins in there just all kind of stuff just lots and lots of tchotchkes <laughs> not really what I am looking for they started putting a little bit of spring stuff out there's like some Easter things not really anything I'm interested in Lots of ducks. Nothing exciting. They had this three piece wall set for, no, it was four pieces for $40. Two sconces, a mirror, and a shelf. That'd be cute if you were looking for some for a little girl's room. I thought this was so pretty if you were decorating your kitchen for spring. 
This was a really pretty bowl. It was $8. I did not purchase it. So later on in the day, I didn't film, but I found this exact set of pottery at another thrift store. <laughs> the exact same thing. I think it might have had more pieces with it, though. Lots of dishware, glassware. These blue cups caught my eye. Those were pretty. Oh my God. Do y'all hear that sweet baby singing? Sha, how cute. Well, that place was a bust. Apparently a few of their workers are in quarantine, so they haven't been able to put out any of the new stuff. It was pretty empty and they did have a lot of clothes, but I had the baby with me. Like that's not something I can look at with her. So we might have to come back here next week or in two weeks and see if it's a little bit better. So now we're gonna head to um, a place called the Bargain Barn. Now it isn't actually a barn, but it is a bargain and i haven't been here in months months it's about i don't know like 30 minutes from my house or something so i'm excited to go by there and see what they have and let's hope they have some goodies because nothing is worse than being excited to go shopping and then you find nothing so let's go check it out so when you drive up there's just stuff pulled out of the barn and it's all in the front yard so you can kind of walk through and see it this is mostly the new stuff that they put out in the yard these canisters caught my eye right away you can always use a good set of full glass canisters and there's a lot of junk but there's also some treasures to be found just like everywhere else you just have to look and this is kind of a place like you'd have to come often like on the days they get new shipments in um, I didn't really find much today. Like most of this stuff is just outdated. Not really my style. I'm looking for more like antiques and rusty stuff. They had these cribs that they had turned into benches, but that is definitely not my style. To me, that still looks like a crib. I don't like that. And then if you're local and you're looking for old windows, they have a ton, a ton of old windows here. I've sold so many old windows. I am over it. I am not buying them anymore. I am not selling them anymore. So if you're looking for some, you can come here. They had tons of mirrors. I thought this mirror was so sweet. This would look so cute in a little girl's room. How adorable is this? I just loved all the little curves and the lines on it. Absolutely adorable. Nothing's priced here. That is another thing that's kind of annoying. You have to ask for prices. They have tons of furniture, some old, some new, some in good condition, some in not so good condition. Tons and tons and tons of picture frames. The only bad thing is like they have all these, this cool stuff, but it's like a lot of it you can't see. It's so heavy. You can't really move it out of the way. Like how are you supposed to get through this stack of stuff? So just be prepared to dig if you come here. They have lots of chairs not the prices aren't great enough for me to like take these chairs and cut them apart but if you're looking for a chair they have them here lots of bed frames tons of bed frames if you're looking for something to repurpose they have a lot of that over here and then I've bought um crib uh parts from here so if you have a place like this this is a great place to look for crib parts because I got them at a really good price because they didn't have the whole crib they just had you know one side or something so I think I got it for like five bucks and then I thought this bench was so pretty the seat was messed up a little but you could put some wood and then put like a cushion or something over it it was really pretty look at the bottom how gorgeous that is so at the bargain barn all i ended up purchasing were the set of three glass jars i feel like you can't go wrong with these things they wanted eight dollars for the set of three so like a little over 250 for each one but i use these all over the place in bathrooms kitchens they're just so pretty you can even like just keep the lid off and put flowers in so for that price i'm like let me pick them up that way i have them if i need to decorate or I could always sell them. They're definitely a good seller as well. 
And then I got, I stopped at another thrift store. I didn't even film because I actually forgot about this place because I never go any, oh, I never go there anymore because it's like just a hot mess. Um, so I didn't even film. I just kind of quickly ran in, ran out, but I found a set of these. I got two of them. Y'all do not sleep on these frames. These are so cute. They look great as is because they look wood and rattan. I think that's what it's called. Um, absolutely gorgeous against white walls. You just need to change out the picture. I love these so much. I have two kind of similar to this in my foyer. They're much more larger than this, but I love these. You could also paint them white and distress them. They would look amazing like that as well. But if y'all ever find these, I would highly recommend picking them up. So I got two of them. They're the same size, same ugly print. So we'll fix that. But and I paid two dollars for them so good deal now we are at the Dollar Tree because I want to see what they have for spring and I also need some glass jars like a bunch of them because in my daughter's room the 10 year old I made her a nice long tray for her desk and I want some jars for her to put her pencils her markers her everything so that way it's like organized on the desk and has a place to land so i made the tray already now i need to go get the containers for her to put her stuff in so we'll see i feel like the dollar tree is the best place to possibly find something like that so we'll go check it out they didn't have too much spring stuff out they have these carrots every year and those are really cute and then they had these little wooden garland that the kids could paint and you could set out i thought that was that was pretty cute and um they had lots and lots of succulents okay i haven't seen these before like these longer succulent picks i thought those were interesting they definitely need to be painted like that bright green ain't working for me but those are cute you could definitely do something with that and they had lots of floral out i actually prefer to get my floral at walmart i feel like you pay about the same price and the quality is just usually better at walmart than at a dollar tree okay i found these in a different um different department and i thought they were so pretty like i love this frosted look on them these I really really like these are cute so I found these in the kitchen section all the way at the bottom shelf you could barely see them I like that they have the clear lids so she can use them with or without the lids and we could take the lids off she could put all her pencils and everything in and then she can use the lids to put like her washi tape or whatever she wants so I think these are the winner these are the ones I'm gonna get Today I'm in Houma, Louisiana, which is about 45 minutes from my house, but it is the town closest to me. So it has like the Home Depot, the Hobby Lobby, the Target, like all the big stores. It has like a little mall. So I don't come here often because it is 45 minutes from my house. So I try to have like a bunch of stuff to do when I come. So today I have some stuff to return and I want to hit up some of the thrift stores around here. They have one Goodwill and then they have like a few local thrift stores and I have a return to make at Hobby Lobby and I did have a return to make at Target but let me tell y'all what happened so my husband insisted on cleaning out my car over the holidays I didn't want him to get in my car <laughs> you know how it is when you clean stuff out then like there's something in there that you needed and it's not there anymore anyway I had this box from Target with stuff I needed to return and the receipts and everything in it so today when I was gathering my stuff to get ready to come to home uh, to run all my errands I called him because I couldn't find a box so he's like, I said, where are you putting the box of stuff that I told you to leave in my car? He's like, oh, I threw it in the back with all the boxes of stuff you were donating. Are you serious right now? <laughs> so, of course it got donated. Like, I didn't even know. There was other people, like, unloading my car when I went to donate. Oh, whatever. And, like, if the thrift store wouldn't be so far out of my way, I wouldn't went back and got it. Because I know they haven't gone through it yet. But not a big deal I'm gonna make him pay for it I'll just go buy the right sizes it was uniforms for the kids and I cannot figure out what size these kids need like every size I order is not the right size so I was gonna go exchange that change exchange that anyway 
oh man you know what i mean we're gonna go to hobby lobby right now i'm gonna look around a little bit and i want to go look for that paper that i told y'all that i like to use for matting and see if they have it hopefully it's on sale today i don't know i didn't even look up the sales and then we'll just kind of look around hobby lobby sometimes i'm in the mood sometimes i'm not so i'll see when i get there if i feel overwhelmed or whatever and maybe like it'll also sometimes hobby lobby can be um overwhelming but sometimes it could also be inspiring like all the spring stuff is out and it just like kind of inspires me to go create some stuff so we'll see so you want to look for the textured cardstock they have it in white and off-white and you see this pretty texture this creates a really good mat and it is on sale today for four dollars so i'm gonna grab a few of these so i have them for the next time i want something and they also have it and the 12 by 12 if you need a bigger size here's that brand of ink that a lot of my followers had recommended so i think i'm gonna get some i can use my coupon and we'll try it out and see how it works so i decided i am going to go to target because there's a few things that i want to go look at so i absolutely love target's um bedding and bath stuff Pretty much all the bedding in my house is from Target, including their sheets, everything. I love it. It's great quality. It has lasted a long time. Um, but I don't actually buy it from the store. What I do is I either go in the store or shop online. But there's a specific color I'm looking for. So that's why I really want to go in the store and look for it for my son's room. But I find what I like and then I save it to my favorites on Target.com. And I wait for it to go 30% off and then I order it. I've saved so much money that way because usually in the stores, they don't have sales or the same deals. So, and also in curtains, all my curtains need to be 95 length and they never have that in store. I think it's like 84 or whatever, the standard size. So that is a great tip to save money shopping at Target is watch for it online. You just click the little heart on the picture and then all your favorites are on there. And then um, once a week, I'll just go through and look through my favorites and see if something that I want is on sale. I don't buy as often as I did, but when we first moved into our house and we needed so much stuff, I saved so much money doing it this way. You just need to be patient and you might have to wait like a month or something um, to get what you really want, but you can definitely save a lot of money. So I'm going to go look at a few things that I want. If it happens to be on sale, then I'll purchase it. If not, I'm going to pick out what I want and then save it online. I love these basic quilts from Pillow Fort. These are what my kids have forever. They're so inexpensive and they last. Like you can wash them so many times. Actually, Waylon still has this set right here on his bed and it's probably about 12 years old and it's been washed so many times and it still looks amazing. Okay, look at this sheet set. Does Waylon need a new sheet set? Y'all, I found these whales. And then I just saw this nautical one. Oh my God, I might have to get one of these for him. And Pillow Fort is 40% off right now. Another reason I don't like going in Target is I end up buying stuff that I didn't go in there for. But I don't think I did bad. So this is the sheet I was looking for. And now I know the color. It's called Minted Ash. So the one I had bought for him before was from the Nate Burkus collection, which I loved but target doesn't carry that anymore and online it's hard to tell like if this is blue if this is tea or whatever so i really want to go in store and make sure i got the you know more of a boyish color so this is called minted ash and i love how they sell the fitted sheets separate from the flat sheets because he does not like a flat sheet so all i needed was a fitted sheet i got that now i know the color if i gotta get more his had got some bleach on it so i wanted to replace it and then I just could not pass this up, y'all. Whale sheets for whaling. Oh, my God. <laughs> they're so cute. He's going to be like, oh, my God. Come on, Mom. I'm nine years old, but they're so cute. I think he's going to like them. And that'll look good. He has, like, a navy blue comforter. Actually, a pillow fort one, the one I showed in the video that I said he had. And I think this is going to go great. <laughs> so cute. So pick that up. And then the boy shower curtain. So I finally, theirs was the last room that needed to be painted. Finally got it painted. I've never replaced a shower curtain. It's just the one they still had up when we bought the house. And I just couldn't decide on one. So I decided to go neutral. This one was on sale for $16. Let's see if y'all can see it. It's like a waffle texture that I think is going to look good in their bathroom. 
um let's see the picture the white's just not coming out good on here uh, i like to go neutral with like my curtains and everything and then bring in the color with decor or bath mats and things like that so i think just this white with this pretty texture is just going to look good with whatever else i decide to put in their bathroom so i'm super excited that they finally get a new shower curtain they're not going to care but i'll care and then of course i had to check out the dollar spot which there wasn't much there but look at these pretty sprigs of baby's breath like i love how tall they are that's just gonna look great just sitting in a jar by itself it was three dollars walmart has some similar ones for similar ones for three dollars but they're not tall like this like i love how tall it was so they had two left i picked up both of them i can for sure use these to stage my items and or around my house so pick that up that's it that's all i got for tar from target i didn't even go look at the clothes no and yeah i just went look at the stuff i said i was gonna go look at and that's it bought a little bit more than i was supposed to but it's okay it's all stuff that i'm gonna be using so it's fine sorry guys i went a few places without y'all but i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what i got also i'm gonna get me a hot caramel macchiato from mcdonald's it's my absolute favorite mm so yummy i just like mcdonald's coffee above starbucks or anywhere else it's just my favorite i don't know okay i went to walmart real quick because there's this certain lamb's ear that i am on the hunt for i can only find like one or two sprigs at a time they didn't have any but look what they had i haven't seen this before look how tall this lavender is this is so gorgeous y'all three dollars and fifty cents for this how cute would this be in a basket coming up tall like go look online and see how much these lavender baskets are it's insane so i got three of them look how beautiful this is oh my gosh i was so excited now y'all gonna buy it all up and i'll never be able to find it again but <laughs> i was super excited about it and then i love the time and true brand from walmart every time i go i pick up one of these sweaters they're so cute they are let's see how much they're i think they're like 12 bucks like 11 dollars and something so i have four of them now i have the ivory i have the camo i have the bright pink and now i got this blush color i love these so much if y'all seen them at your walmart i highly recommend them i wear them all the time you can dress them up dress them down can't be that price i should have went look at the hats all my hats come from walmart this is the home brand where it has like the louisiana theme hats and then also i like the time and true hats okay then i went to home goods because it was in the same shopping center so i had to stop i wanted to go look at bath mats because i'm going to be doing like a refresh on my master bath i'll probably be filming that because y'all my master bath was so builder grade boring oh my god it was awful and just boring and i've done like a few things to it that i think just elevated the whole look and just brought lots of character and the bath mats i have i love them they're from target but they're kind of stained up we've been having them for years so i'm trying to see if i can find some other ones i like better but if not i'll probably just reorder the same ones i have because i really like them and they're square which is super hard to find they're the only square ones i ever found and i really like them but i went look i didn't see anything i liked at home goods but then i saw this shower curtain yo it's so cute so i got it because i'm like i can't leave this at the store i have to at least try it in the bathroom so i got the other one from target for the boys bathroom and i got this one i always keep my receipts because this is me i'm indecisive and sometimes you have to try stuff out in your space and see if you like it um so we're gonna try both of these out in the boys bathroom and see which ones i like and then for the girls bathroom i got this basket it's nice and long and big and this is put put their dirty clothes in because even though they are literally right next to laundry room like right next to it she cannot bring her dirty clothes to the laundry room i've tried it's been three years it's not happening so i bought a little basket so at least the dirty clothes have a place to go and they're not all over my floor anymore and i'm gonna be doing probably a video on the girls bathroom too because i've done a lot of stuff in there and then i got these things some potty spray because you need this especially in the outside kitchen where we have guests and all so i got one for the outside kitchen one for my master bath 
put those in there they were four dollars for these and that should last like a super long time and then my daughter is like very bougie and she loves like all her like smelly stuff i can't stand that stuff it gives me a headache but she likes her soap and her hand lotion and all that so i got this little set it comes with a tray for eight dollars i didn't think that was a bad price and this should last a little while and i can even refill these if i want or buy a whole new set when she's finished with it i don't know if i'm gonna use the tray or not but anyway i got this for her and she'll be excited about that keeping my receipts in case i need well i'm definitely returning at least one shower curtain because i don't need shower curtains anywhere else in the house okay now we're gonna go to goodwill and then i'm gonna see what time it is if i have time to go to another thrift store or not and then after that i need to go home because i'm spending too much money this is why i just stay home and work you leave the house you spend money that's what happens oh i want to tell y'all too home goods oh <laughs> i hit the thing on my uh the button on my seat and it started going back i was like what's happening um if you are looking for throw pillows home goods is the absolute best place to find throw pillows i find the selection is so good like you can literally just like put everything together in the store to see if you like it the quality is amazing amazing and the price is amazing home goods is my favorite place for throw pillows all right let's head to the goodwill and see what they got going on over there all right i want to show y'all what i'm working with like how small this goodwill is i absolutely love watching thrift with me videos on youtube and i'm always so jealous because all these people have these ginormous stores they go into okay i am standing at the back of the store the majority of the store is clothing and then there's like three aisles up here with home decor and kitchen stuff and that is it that is it this is not a giant thrift store. This is what I have to work with. So it does take a lot of stores to find stuff. I didn't get nothing at Goodwill. Oh my God, it was packed. It was full of people in there. I feel like the thrift stores were a bust this week, but that's how it goes. Sometimes I find a lot of stuff. Sometimes I don't. You just kind of got to check often and see. I feel like right now garage sales will probably be my best bet. So I'm hoping this weekend they have some. That would be amazing. Um, and then I got a call from school. It was like an automated messaging system saying that my kid has possibly been exposed to somebody that has Corona. I don't know. Like it wasn't a phone call. It was an automated phone call. Didn't say which kid. Didn't even say which, uh, school. They like, just come pick up your kid. Okay. So I gotta go home and deal with that situation. I'm pretty positive. It's my two middles. I think it was at school, so I'm going to call and find out and see what the deal is. I don't know if that means I have to stay home for 14 days. I don't know. Like, it, like a personal phone call would have been amazing. Anyway, <laughs> y'all, this world we're living in right now. Um, Let me know if y'all enjoyed this, like, shop, hang out with me video. You know, I don't always go to thrift stores. I go to other places, too. Of course, thrift stores and garage sale halls will never end that's what i love doing but this i thought this was kind of fun too so y'all um let me know what y'all thought about this and if this is something you enjoy go ahead subscribe to my channel and we can hang out every single week bye y'all have a great day thanks for watching and give this video a big